Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. So today we're... What is it? Is that, is that, my, is that a dragon? Easy, everyone. Every dragon has a weak spot. Elvarg has gotten a lot scarier than I remember, guys. If you guys are wondering what this awesome game on my phone is, this is Raid Shadow Legends, aka the most ambitious RPG project of 2019. It is the most immersive experience you guys can find on a smartphone, and the best thing is, it's completely free. What's better than that? It has all the features you'd want in a brand new RPG title with an amazing storyline, awesome 3D graphics, PvP fights, boss battles, and hundreds of champions to customize and collect. This game is getting really big really quickly, so if you guys would like a head start on here, I got a couple things to help you out. First of all, there's a brand new special tournament launch coming out soon with awesome prizes. And second of all, if you guys would like lots of free stuff on this game, along with the game being free itself, if you guys go to the description of this video and use my link only to download the game, you'll get 50,000 silver coins and a free epic champion courtesy of the dev team. I also made a clan in the game called the Super Clan. That? Not bad. Clan tag is soup. If you guys would like to join my clan, just search me up in the clan section, Super, S-O-U-P-E-R, and make sure to join my clan and let's get some stuff done. If you guys can remember from my last video, I was talking about how pathetically bad my raids luck was. I'm talking one item in 270 total raids. Well, I worked on that, I worked on my solos, and as you guys can probably see from this lovely number on screen, some things may have turned around. Like, very good, for the better. 7 out of 22 in 320 total Chambers of Zare completions now, aka Cox. So, that can only mean one thing. We finally got some drops, and I cannot wait to show you guys, because I know you guys have been waiting for this for a long time. So, before we get into it, in the next 20 seconds, how about you guys in the comment section below, guess two items from Chambers of Zarek that you guys think I got. Guess two raids items in the comment section right now. If you were correct, I'll give you a love heart, and maybe, just maybe, a kiss on the lips. Okay, so after doing solo raids for about 75 raids so far, I finally managed to get my first solo purple chest. I am currently 158 raids dry, which is about 3.4 million points. And finally, I have a purple chest. So I'm really hoping that the grinding has paid off on this Friday night. Good luck. I can't look. I can't look. Chat, please tell me it's something good. Please don't be a buckler. No, I see LOL. <gasps> Wait, I see Pog. I see An Ancestral? DHCB? Oh my god! Wait, that's really good! Yes! Ancestral Bottoms! I'll take that. I will I will absolutely take that. It could have been it could have been so much worse. It could have been it could have been better, of course, but there could there's a lot of other items that are completely worse. That is an upgrade. That is a fantastic upgrade. Wow, Ancestral Bottoms. I did it. I- Oh, 65 mil? Oh my goodness. Let's go. It feels finally just so dry. Oh my god. Absolutely wonderful, boys. Absolutely wonderful. Let's get a nice little sneak peek of it. Let's wear these Ancestral Robes really quickly, shall we? For the stream. Nice. So nice. Aram's bottoms, no longer needed. Honestly, this item is so good. I know so many people who, do, who refuse to go for the Aram skirt because they just want the, uh, the ancestral robe bottoms instead. To get the ancestral bottoms as my second item is pretty wild. Never thought I'd be getting any more agility levels on this account. I thought I'd be at 86 for a lot longer of a time. However, I need to get Marks of Grace because I'm running out of stamina potions. Something I never really realized is that, well, you know, the more PVM you do and the more, you know, you're running around, the more stamina potions you use, which means you need more marks of grace, which means more agility. That was a, a mouthful right there. So 87, we can now use the Brimhaven Dungeon Vine Climb. whoop de doo Still need more marks of grace, though, but uh, 21, 23 total. Not bad. Second Onyx, which means we have now equaled our total raids drops with Onyxes. <laughs> Nice! Alright, so we have one of the new caskets. Well, not a new casket, but we have a casket which actually is now stackable. But before we open it, we need to talk to the strange casket here in Zaya and enable the boss fight. Yes. Tell me about the mimic. Yes, I'd like to fight him. Yes, yes, yes. I'd like to get the mimic challenges. The mimic is pleased. Alright, awesome. Let's open it and get a boss fight. Wow! Actually, it's not the worst loot in the world. 
I'll take it. So we've done almost 130 total solo raids now, and a lot of the loot that you actually get from raids are gems. So if we check out my gem stack here, can't click on my tab. I got quite a few uncuts. This is pretty much 95% from raids and then like 5% from slayers. So I think in total, all of these gems may add up to about 600,000 crafting XP alongside the seaweed I have in my bank. Uh, we have 7,800 giant seaweed. We also have some molten glass too. And then we also have buckets of sand from our Arty Elite Diary. We have 13,000 now. That actually could get us close to 99. I do. I really would like 99 crafting because the crafting cape teleport is right next to the bank, which is really nice. Really nice. So it's going to be useful for future endeavors. So I'll probably make that a priority soon to go for 99 just so I get the cape out of the way. But overall, we should probably uh, get started on these gems. Iron Dragon Mask. That's a unique... 6k! It's not even worth anything, but Mahogany Planks and Alf Kemp Teleports. Just finished raid number 300 here on the Iron Man account, half of which now are solo, so I'm pretty happy with that. 41 minutes and 41 seconds raid, 34 and a half thousand points. Can we be rewarded with a purple? We cannot, unfortunately, but there's the kill count, 300 total now. Uh, can we at least get, I don't know, maybe some, some dragon arrows to celebrate? Oh. This is just awful. Uh, the two things I don't need whatsoever. So kind of a depressing loot there. But I think we can be proud of the fact that we have 300 total raids done now. And uh, we're going to keep going until we get that next purple. 530k is pretty wild though in terms of points. That is... Whew. Well, I asked for a master. And a master is exactly what we got. As well as a magic seed too. Lots of clue scrolls today, man. Lots of clue scrolls. Actually, as, okay, uh, that's actually pretty good. <laughs> I got a duplicate deck scroll. <laughs> oh, no, dude. Come on. I, <laughs> I would have rather had augury, dude. Uh, I guess it's not the worst drop in the world. I guess I can drop it to my main. Get some nice bonds out of it, 60 mil, but I, I want a unique. <laughs> two deck scrolls, two deck scrolls before before Augury. So at least I have two deck scrolls and not two arcanes, you know, that'd be kind of rip, but eh, whatever. At least we didn't go 100 plus dry for this. Um, I completely forgot to start recording and I also forgot to, well, you know, hide my chat in preparation for this purple light, but check it out. Check out the chat, guys. Arcane. This is a, a very feels good man. For the first time on the Iron Man, we are going to finish the prayer book, Augury Unlocked, after 300 and how many raids? 315 raids for both scrolls. We're going to go ahead and absorb the power and learn Augury. Oh, that looks so nice. Feels like I'm on a main account right now, man. Very nice. We're going to use this for many things in the future. Solo Bandos, Solo Raids, Zalra. Ah, very good upgrade. Hopefully in the future, if more magic content comes out, this will become even more useful. Awesome drop to get. I'm liking this luck streak right now. Another purple chest on the, on the Iron Man. We've now had three purples and seven chests. So that's pretty crazy luck. All right, good luck. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Hey. Okay. Okay. It's a unique. That's a unique item. It's not a Tebow. It's not a DHCB, but for 20,000 points to snag a unique, a Dragon Claws drop? I, hey, I'll, I will take it. 64 mil? I have no complaints over that. I, I am very pleased. Very pleased. That is a future best in slot for, I think, raids. I can use this for clue scrolls, for barrows, for death runes. So, wow. The luck really has paid off. Dragon Claws drop on the Iron Man. So in the past three days, we've gotten a Dex Scroll, an Arcane, and Dragon Claws. Back to back to back days. So I am I am very, very pleased with that. I I can complain and say I wish it was something better, but I'm really not. I'm I am very happy to have that out of the way. It feels awesome. So if you guys have made it this far in the video, you've probably just been kind of shocked at the truckload of purple chests that I just got. I mean, you know, I have not had a single purple chest in over 150 raids and all of a sudden, bam, 
I get four in the space of like six minutes in this video. If you're wondering why I have so many, it's simply because all I've done is solo raids the past like three and a half weeks on this account. One, because it's very addicting. Two, because I'm getting better at it, so it's becoming more fun. And three, because, well, I'm finally seeing purple chests. So I will mix up the content, I promise. It's just purple chests are really fun. And if you guys like the solo raid content and you guys like seeing purple chests on the videos, I'll continue to do them. So let me know below. All right, so I finally managed to craft down all of these buckets of sand I had. I think I had 12,000. We now have turned that all into 24,000 molten glass, which you would think would get me close to 99, but I severely underestimated how many I actually need. I think with this current amount of molten glass and then these uncut gems I have as well, which are all from raids, I think, whoops, I think this will get me to about 96 crafting, which uh, seems like it's very high, but it's still quite a ways from 99, which is my goal. I use this website called Calcusaurus to check my stored XP on this account. It's a pretty cool website. You can see, you know, what supplies you have in your bank and how much XP you can get for it. So I put in all of my crafting supplies here, 23,000 molten glass, turn them all into light orbs, and then I have my uncut gems too. And this will get me to level 96 crafting, but we're still like 2.6 million XP away from 99. So technically I would need, uh, I would say, Let's say 55,000 total glass to get to 99. Okay, just kidding. A bit more. Let's do 60, 60, 61,000 maybe. Yeah, okay. So about a little less than 61,000 molten glass just to get to 99. So I would need quite a few more buckets of sand. Luckily, the new sandstone grinder is in the game. But either way, still a bit of a grind. And there is the next crafting level. Level 95 crafting up to 21, 24. Can we? Oh, oh. Zenite bracelets, like I'm ever going to make another one of those. We are out of gems now, it's actually perfect timing. Only 100 left, and then we can also do our molten glass, but I might take a break from crafting, because I'm kind of bored. Wow.